spinal cord and it's cutting off some stuff and, and she was supposed to have it done last Monday on her birthday and she ended up, they went on a cruise and ended up having COVID and so they couldn't do it so they're going to be doing uh, the surgery uh, uh, Tuesday, uh, I don't know what time yet, she's supposed to call on Monday to see what time she's got to be there Tuesday. But y'all remember our niece in your prayers uh, if you would. Someone else got a request upon your heart. Pray for Miss uh, President Trump Amen. and Miss Annie Lawson. Miss Annie Lawson, you Miss Annie Lawson fell Miss Annie and broke her heel yeah, that day. Yeah, she fell during the Fourth of July and broke several ribs, then she fell again the day and broke her heel. Yeah. So we want to keep Miss Annie in our prayers too. And like, like you said, we will pray for our nation. For Amen. All the sin for <laughs> President Trump and where he was shot at yesterday, the former President Trump. So I was pray, pray much for our nation. So Keep my bread on your prayer. Amen. Let's keep with you. And you said what's going tomorrow for surgery. In the morning. In the morning for surgery. So let's keep with you in our prayer today. Someone else. Shady Grove is still in revival. And so far they've had two stages. Amen. Remember Dolly's brother-in-law. That's why they left this morning. Right. Uh, Dolly and us got to go pick up his brother and her brother-in-law to have some uh, procedures done. And so they got to go take Joe, her husband, to uh, you know, pick him up and everything to go live. So pray much for that, too. Come yeah. on in. Yes. Keep uh, Mike Curry in your thoughts and prayers. The last I heard, uh, his levels were going down. Uh, he's still trying to get over that knee surgery and thinking of having to do the next one already this summer. So, just keep him in your prayers. Amen. Amen. Go to the doctor the 24th. Amen. That's the best of prayers. So, what? I'd like to ask y'all to keep my uncle Randy Youngman in prayers. Uh, he's got stage 4 cancer and he's battling it. Amen. Keep this in prayers. So, so what? Is? Israel. Amen. 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 Thank you, dear Lord, for this homecoming, dear Lord, and for having today, dear Lord. We just thank you that the church has been here this many years, dear Lord, and we just thank you for that, dear Lord, that you've been the shepherd over us, dear Lord, and just taking care of us all these years, dear Lord. We just ask you to bless each one that's here this morning, dear Lord, each family that's here. These are the singers this morning, dear Lord, bless them, and we just thank you for giving them a safe trip, dear Lord, and we just ask you to be with them when, when they're going home, dear Lord, and to watch over and keep them safe wherever they might go, dear Lord. Once again, we would thank you for the prayer requests that were mentioned this morning, dear Lord. We know there's many more, Lord, that need to be mentioned, dear Lord, but you know what they are, and you take care of them, dear Lord. We just ask you to take care of the ones that were mentioned, and, and you, know the, you know the needs of the church and the church family, dear Lord, be with them, dear Lord. And also watch over them, be with our country, dear Lord, and our leaders, dear Lord. We pray for them, dear Lord. We just pray for each individual, be with all the ones in the nursing homes and hospitals. Where they might be, dear Lord, we know that you can reach them accessibly, dear Lord. Yeah. And there's one here that needs to be saved, dear Lord, we just pray that the day will be the day, dear Lord, that the Jesus Christ can come into the heart, dear Lord. And now, once again, we just thank you for each and every one that's here, dear Lord, and just ask, you, ask your blessing your phone, dear Lord. For it's in your name that we pray, dear Lord. Amen. 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 Well, they're getting us a song together. Anybody got a birthday coming up this next week?
just need being a little louder. <laughs> <laughs>
years and thousand years. It is good to be back with you this morning. We hope you have been praying for the services today. You know, as I was a I was thinking about, you know, uh, about a homecoming and everything. And, you know, uh, Bible kind of took me over to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 31. I'm going to read a, a verse or two here this morning. We want you to uh, look about this this morning. But this is the time that whenever uh, uh, Israel was being restored, I mean, God was bringing his people back home. You know, that's what a homecoming is about. It's when God's people come back. They repent of their sins. They, they come back home, come back to Christ. And, and we're going to be looking just a few verses here this morning, uh, and we're going to look in uh, Jeremiah 31, we're going to start reading verse 6. Jeremiah 31, verse 6, if you're there, say amen. 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 If you're not, say wait. <laughs> no wait, okay. Right? <laughs> we stand around here for the reading of, words of, God, of God's Word, but it simply says this, for there shall be a day, and I want to, I'm looking forward to that day. I mean, Amen. there shall be a day, it says here, uh, that the wilderness, that the watchman uh, upon the Mount Ephraim shall cry, Arise ye, and let us go up to Zion to the Lord our God. For thus saith the Lord, Sing with gladness for Jacob, and shout among the chief of the nations. Publish ye, praise ye, and say, O Lord, save thy people, the remnant of Israel. Behold, I will bring them from the north country and gather them from the coast of the earth, and with them the blind and lame and the woman with child and her that travaileth with child together. A great company shall return thither. And he said, They shall come with weeping and with supplication. Will lead, I'll lead them. I will cause them to walk by the rivers of water in a straight way wherein they shall not stumble for I am a father to Israel and Ephraim is my, is my firstborn. Hear the word of the Lord, O ye nations, and declare it in the house of far off and say he that scattereth Israel will gather him and keep him as a shepherd of his flock. Let us pray. Father God in heaven Lord, we thank you, dear God, one more time to stand behind thy sake to dance and Father we pray this morning, Lord, as we come to God in a week and people away to God, Lord I just pray, move me out of the way, God God, Holy Spirit, dear God, may be able to uh, just use me in some way, dear Father, that you would be glorified. And Father, I pray today, dear God, Lord, uh, for all these things that were lifted up, Lord, we pray for healing upon the sick. We pray for comfort to those lost loved ones, dear Father, but Lord, especially for those that are lost, dear God. We pray a mighty hand of conviction fall upon them, dear God. Uh, Lord, I pray, make them miserable, dear God, so they give their heart and life to you, Lord. Uh, I'd rather see them miserable now, dear God, than to die and go to the devil's hell and be miserable for an eternity, Father. Father God, I just pray, help us, dear God, to glean from your word this morning, dear God. Lord, uh, Lord, help us, dear God, uh, to, to draw just a little closer to you, Father. Lord, we all can do that this day. Uh, Father, now just forgive us for your faith in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Because of God's everlasting love and his promise here uh, remains he to, to draw Israel with, uh, with the loving kindness of God's kindness. Uh, Israel, uh, he leads Israel uh, uh, to repentance. Uh, and, and let me tell you what it was. It was the love that drew them. Because he says here, for this shall be a day that the watchman upon the mount of Ephraim uh, shall cry, Arise ye. Uh, and I like what he says here. He said, Arise ye, Lord. That's what I believe he's saying right here. And he said, let us go up to Mount Zion. I believe what the writer said here. Let's get up and go to God's house. I, I want to tell you, church, uh, if there's one thing lacking today is a, a lack of concern in people's hearts and lives uh, to want to go to God's house. I, I believe here as he's telling us right here, uh, he said, arise, and this is what I'm saying. He says, arise. And he says, and let us go up to Zion and to the Lord our God. He knew where God was at. He knew where to go meet God at. He knew that if he went to God's house, God was going to be there, church. And I'm here to tell you this morning, church. If there's ever a time that we need God in our hearts and lives, in our nation, it's now. Amen. It's now. Oh, let me tell you something. People are so unconcerned nowadays uh, about their relationship with Christ. Uh, they're more concerned about things down here in the world. Uh, they're more concerned about that. Uh, and some people ain't going to like this. Uh, they're more concerned about uh, who's going to get their seat uh, at the bingo hall on Sunday night uh, or on Wednesday night. Uh, because I'm here to tell you, it's a shame uh, when you can see people getting there at 2 o'clock in the evening and you do good to get them here in church on time. Yeah. 
Amen. Oh, church, let me Amen. tell you something. Where's our priorities at? I believe this was what the, I believe this is what Jeremiah was trying to get them to understand. Where their priorities are at? Are they in God or are they in something else? And you know, all these new this as God had punished Israel because of their strain off and on, all down through the Old Testament. He would they would stray, he would punish them, he would bring them back. In church, I'm here to tell you, if our Jeremiah that we need to give back to God. It's name. Amen. It's name. Amen, bro. Oh, Jeremiah, he said, he says, but let's say the Lord in verse 7. I will tell you what you do right here. Let me tell you, whenever you get back to God, let me tell you, the watchmen, they were posted on high points there that to warn of the approaching enemies. Uh, this is what was going on here. But I want to tell you right here what the watchman is calling out to do. It's simply just to let us uh, get up and go to the sanctuary, the God's house, uh, the old side. And then he says here in verse 7, For thus said the Lord, sing with gladness. Uh, I want to tell you something. That's what happens when God's people gets their hearts right with God. I want to tell you, it puts a joy down in your heart. You just want, you just want to get up and just sing a song for God. I mean, he said, he said, but thus said the Lord, sing with what? With gladness. For Jacob and what else? Shout among the chief of the nations. Love the chief, praise ye, and say, O oh Lord, save thy people, the remnant of Israel. Church, I want to tell you what that God and power is of God. God is just like that. God is just like a magnet. And we're just like the steel. You will never make a song about that, or he is a magnet, I'm a steel. <laughs> it wasn't a song, I don't know. It was a, a rock song years ago. <laughs> but God is just like that magnet. I want to tell you what it does. It draws you. And I want to tell you something. Uh, in order for you to get right with God, God's going to draw you. Lost person, God is going to draw you. Uh, if the Spirit of God don't draw you, uh, then you can't be saved. Uh, you've got to be drawn by the Spirit of God. Uh, in turn, I'm here to tell you this morning that God ought to be drawing His people back to God's house so that people can see Christ living in you. Amen. 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 Church. It's not big enough yet. <laughs> but he tells us right here, he says, you will shout, you know, there'll be gladness in your heart, there'll be a joy among you, there'll be a shout in you, you'll be out there publishing about what God is doing in your heart and life, you'll be out there praising God, no matter what goes on in your life. It's like I tell people all the time, they say, how are you doing? Uh, I'll say, well, I'll say I'm fair in a minute. I can't complain. I said, the good Lord's given me another day, so why I complain about it? I want to tell you, kind of like Brother Junior there said this morning, this is a day the Lord has made. We will, we will rejoice and be glad in it. And that's what he wants us to understand that. We, this day is what you make out of it. You can either uh, uh, live in despair and gloom and doom, or you can say, this is a day that the Lord has made, and we will. We will rejoice and be glad in it. God has given us this day. We ain't got no reason to go. We ain't got no reason to go. We ain't got no reason to go. This is the day that God's given us. You can walk around all open around all you want. How many people is that going to leave Christ? I want to tell you what. I've seen some people. The claim to be Christian is the saddest looking bunches I've ever seen. And I want to tell you, if, I, if that's what it's about being a Christian, I sure wouldn't want none of it. <laughs> I mean, you know, but that, that, that joy in your heart, it shows, it comes forth, it shows forth on your face. Church, that's what we've got to realize here. But he says here, behold, in verse 8, he said, behold, he says, I will. Did you hear what that said? That means it's going to be done, church. He says, I heard Behold, Lord, pay attention. He says, I will. That means it's just as good as done. When God says, I will, it's done. You might as well take it for what it says. He says, I will bring them. Did you hear what he said there? How is he going to bring them? He's going to draw them back to God's house. How is he going to draw them? I don't know. It might be through severe consequences in your life. It might be through some of those he's placed before you. But God is going to draw you back to him. Amen. We may not like sometimes <laughs> the way that he draws us. But let me tell you, once we get back to God, all that moping and pity is gone. Because that joy is going to come back again. That's what he's talking about. That's what happens when we get right with God. That's what happens 
when we get there. That's why he says he's going to call us in, in John 6, 24. No man can come to me except the Father, which has sent me, draw him, and I will raise him up at the last day. Amen. That's what God's doing today. As we look around, you see the great falling away, taking part where people's falling away from God's house, falling away from preaching God's word. They want to hear some good fable, some little story to tickle their ears. They don't want to hear the word of God, and it's falling away from that. And that days are remnant. And that's what God's talking about. He said, There's a, a remnant of my children right here. I'm going to draw them in the church. I, I hope and pray when you're in that remnant this morning. I hope and pray that we're there. Amen. You know, I'm going to bring them to the Lord. And he says, I'm going to turn them from the coast of the east. And with them, the blind and the lame, the, the woman with child, her that the travail, and the child together, a great company shall return there. Do you hear what he said there? He said, they're going to be more children. I mean, they're going to be more children. But like I said, you know, the Bible tells us, you know, that this boy is going to hell with his head. You know, and why is that? Pride is the way that leads to destruction. And man, there be that go in. But narrow and straight is the way to heaven, church. And there's be few that find it. Church, I'm here to tell you, we need as God's people, we need to examine our hearts and lives, we need to get things back straight to God, set our priorities right, uh, so that God can use us uh, to be able to light uh, into this lost and darkened world, uh, that people might see Jesus in your hearts and lives. Amen. He said there, he said, I'm going to bring them from all over. Sick, the lame, the blind, the women with children, I'm going to bring them. And then what else he says? And they shall come. They shall come with what? With weeping. I mean, why is that? Why are they coming with weeping? I, I want to tell you, I believe it's because uh, they are coming because they, uh, they are crying, because of the sorrow of their sin, because they are strayed from God. They come uh, uh, by bearing those precious seed. Uh, weeping there is what he's doing. He says, God is sorrow working for kids. They were sorry for straying from God. Most people think when they see it, they don't pay that attention to it. Don't bother them when they speak. Just go on and do what they want to do. No conviction there. Let me tell you something what the Bible says. The Bible tells us, you know, it says this in the Hebrew, it says, They who go without chastise but as bastards do not sow. In other words, what he's saying there, if you can get out here and sin and be glad in it and not feel no convicting power in it, then you ain't no child of God. Amen. I mean, that's Bible. That's Bible. You might not like it, but if you can go out here and do things that's contrary to the word of God, the will of God, and feel joyful about it, there's something wrong with you. Amen. But he says here, they're going to come and weep. And with some cases, will I leave them? I will cause them to walk. Do you hear? He says, there's that I will. I will. He said, I'm going to lead them. He says, I'll cause them to walk by the rivers of the water in a straight way. That's that straight narrow he's talking about. They're going to teach them how to walk the walk. Not just talk the talk, but to walk the walk. I'm going to have them walk in that straight way wherein they shall not stumble. For I am the Father of Israel, leave them my firstborn. And here's what he says, and I'll be done. Here. Here. Listen to what the Spirit's saying to you. Some of y'all might have shut me out right off the start. But I don't like him. He's too loud. He's too noisy. He makes too much racket. <laughs> Some of y'all probably shut that out right on the beginning. But I want to tell you one thing. He's one that you can't shut out. And that's the Holy Spirit. Whenever the Holy Spirit comes upon you, uh, that's why he says right here, he said, here. Here he says, hear the word of the Lord. Listen to what God has to say this morning. Hear the word of the Lord, ye nations, and declare it in the isles afar off and say, He that scattereth Israel will gather them and keep him as a shepherd doth his flock. What God is doing this morning, God is calling you back home. You think about that old prodigal son when he squandered his living, all, all riders living there, they squandered everything he had. And he went out and he realized it. He finally come to himself. The church, that's what we've got to do. We've got to come to ourselves to realize where we at. That son, prodigal son, he realized where he's at. He realized what he had in the father's hands. Oh, I had a whole lot better off back home. He says, I'm going to get up. And he says, I'm going to go back to my father and tell him I'm not worthy. Oh, 
church, I want to tell you this morning, there ain't none of us worthy. Right. Not Amen. one of us. But it's the blood of Jesus Christ that makes us worthy. Amen. That's what he's telling us this morning. That young man, he said, I'm not worthy to be called one of yours. He said, just make this one your hard service. But you know what? That old father, he was standing up on that hill. I believe he stood up. I believe that house stood up on the hill. Right? I, believe, I believe he would look out every day to see when his son, he knew one day his son was going to be coming back. And what did he do? He didn't wait for that boy to get to him. He ran to him. He fell upon him and kissed him. Broke the robe and broke the ring and broke the sandals and had a big party. Because his son was once lost. It's now been found. Amen. Amen. That might be you this morning. Amen. That might be you this morning. And I want you this morning to listen to what the Holy Spirit is speaking to your heart today. Because these singers will be up here singing in a moment. And I know it won't bother them in the least bit. If you feel a need to come up here to this altar and pray while they're singing, that's what we want you to do. Amen. That's what we want you to do. I can see that old daddy going down there and meeting that prodigal son. Welcome home. Welcome home, my child. That's, all, that's what he's wanting to do. He's standing up here this morning with his arms out wide. Welcome you back home. You just got to come. That's all you got to do this week. Just be obedient to the Holy Spirit today. I want to ask the song of the singers to come this morning. Y'all got an invitation song y'all want to sing? We'll do right now. Or, and if we want, I, I, I was going to wait. I believe we need to do an invitation right now. And then we're going to just turn them loose. But I want to listen to the Holy Spirit this morning. All right. You got a need this morning to come up here and pray. That's what we want you to do. We want you to keep putting it off. You know, if you sit back there and try to reason with the Holy Spirit, you ain't going to move. Just get yourself out of the way. Let God have his way in your heart and life. Would you do that this morning as everyone stands?
presence this morning. And Lord, we pray, dear God, Lord, if there be a need here today, dear Father, Lord, that, that they were still, dear Heavenly Father, Father, got time and opportunity, dear God, to come, yes, dear God, Jesus. and bow down to an old altar, dear yes. God, and repent, or whatever their need may be, dear Father, this morning, Lord, that they would just bring it to you. God, Father, we pray if that one that was here that may be lost today, dear God, I pray, dear God, shake them good, dear yeah, God. I do it. I pray just mm -hmm. deal with them, dear God, through this service today, dear God, and bring them, dear God, to that altar of repentance today. Amen. That they may be saved, dear God, and set free. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Let's give the ladies a big hand.
see is Jesus Christ yeah. no more. Yeah. Oh, we'll yeah. see you in perfect harmony in heaven's angel way. Oh, we'll celebrate forevermore in glory land. You talk about celebration, we're going to have it a little while. Talk about celebration, living with Jesus Christ. We'll be free from all care, no words to bear. Talk about
you sing in a quartet? And I said, yeah, we, we tried to do a little. He said, I've got some quartet songs. He said, uh, take them and, and listen to them and see what, see what you think. And on that particular, on that particular CD that he gave me, there were two songs, and this one was one of them, if I could find it. That's the trouble with having so many songs on here. I can't find one of them. I know it's on this page. Here it is. My saving place was an old fashioned office. It's where I knelt, and the Lord heard my cry. Amen. It was a time of celebration, a glorious occasion. My name was written down in the Lamb's book of life. Amen. I found saving grace at the saving place. It was there that the blood was applied. Just to say, Lord, I love 
Amen. 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 Whether we like the answer or not. Amen. Amen. Whether we like the answer or not. Amen. 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 I want to thank God for saving my soul and for the spirit that's in this place this morning. Amen. 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 I just want to thank God that uh, when I had an accident a couple of weeks ago, that all I got was a black eye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately, uh, I, I face planted a black top parking lot, and the doctor said that there was nothing broken in my face, and I said, well, that's only because I'm hard-headed, and I've been the preacher to that one, too. Yeah. I just thank God that Amen. he was watching over me. Amen. Amen. I want to praise the Lord for saving my soul actually right here in this very church. Amen. 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 And even when I wasn't saved, I prayed every day. Mm. And he stood on home right beside me and answered prayers even when I didn't know. There we go. I prayed, I, I just I prayed him so much for that for this beautiful family and all these gifts that we have. Amen. Something wrong. Amen. 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 There's music to God's ear. That's right. Somebody else don't want to leave you out. We don't want to drag it out, but we don't want to leave you out either. I want to thank the Lord for um, just for watching over our family the past few weeks. We've traveled a lot of miles, and the Lord's been with us Amen. every one. We've, we've driven a lot of miles and flown a lot of miles. And, you know, yesterday as we were flying, we had a longer flight yesterday, and and I don't like flying at all. But I, I thought, you know, my hand, my life is in the Lord's hands. You know, I, I, I trust. There was a lot of turbulence yesterday, and it kind of kind of gets to me. The turbulence does. But, you know, my, my faith and my trust is in the Lord. But I began to think about that pilot. And I thought, you know, the pilot of this plane, he's traveled this area before. You know, he's gone before me, and he... He knows what it's like. He's experienced that Amen. before. It's no surprise to him right, what we right. were facing. So he he didn't get upset about it. So I'm trusting in, in, in the pilot of my life. Amen. And my faith is in him. And I Amen. Thank you for his mercy and his grace. Thank you. Amen. I got two more if you let us. You got three more, no? No, three. no, I'm going to scratch one. This, this is a song that Brother uh, Ron does and does an excellent job on it. And it just came to me when I always had all the testimony. You thank you, Jesus. We're going to see you. Oh, yeah. yeah. Amen. You, it's not one of those things you might not. You're going to. Amen. Amen. In the title of the song, we shall mm -hmm. see Jesus. Amen. 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 We shall see Jesus. Amen. Amen.
on September 13th. I can't remember the date. September 13th, where the inspiration was going to be there. And, uh, I, I might be there, I might not be. I might not be. <laughs> <laughs> so on September 13th, we're going to go to Columbia uh, night with the inspiration. God, God bless you. Let's give a big hand.
in September the 14th, that's on a Saturday evening. Uh, we'll, we'll provide, I think we're doing a shoulder, is that we're doing barbecue shoulder, or what are we doing this time? I think. Okay. I'm not really sure, place but I sell, sell place and make up money for the uh, gun, and we're going to have a singing. The masses of Glasgow will be singing in uh, New Direction, and we'll be singing uh, uh, that night also. Well, on September the 13th, Friday night, see us get the inspiration. County bill on Friday night. <laughs> With inspiration, county bills out of out of off Highway 55 between Columbia and Campbellville, out of around the Colburg area. So y'all just pray much for me. Donnie, also too on, on the 27th, uh, some of the fire department guys is, is cooking for Troy on the square. Uh, we're cooking shoulder that day, shoulder plates, whatever. Uh, 27th. 27th of this month. 27th of here, we're going to look on the square point. Okay, that be all day fine? More likely, yeah. Okay, so just remember that for Troy. And also next week, we'll be taking a glove off and help Troy and his family out uh, through this trying time in their life. Anything else before we dismiss? Not standing, we'll be dismissed, and we're going to ask the blessing on the meal also. I'll uh, probably do that so that way when you go down, and we want the singers to go down first. And, and eat before us, or depending on how hungry they are. <coughs> we will be able to go down if they want to eat, get in line first, and then eat. So, Chelsea, would you want to dismiss us and ask the blessing on the next one? Oh, we thank you, Lord, for another day to give us. And, uh, we thank you for whatever it is we want to go. We thank you for the spirit we fell. And, well, we pray for the baby, Lord, as they go places and travel. Lord. We pray for their safety. Oh, uh, we pray. Pray for this food, Father, we're about to receive this. It is the birth of her body. Thank you, Lord, for the ones who prepared it. Bless them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.